here to eat them. It's just full of cattle. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about the 4th of July. It's our nation's Independence Day. Yeah, and as you can tell, we're obviously outside. As you can hear the people who decided to clean the sewer system working all around. And the ravens above us chasing up all our birds. Well, you know, that's what happens sometimes when you want the ambiance of the outdoors. We got well, it. just because you wanted to be, we wanted to have you hear the birds singing in the background. Yeah, and naturally everybody's chasing our birds away. Really nice birds when the ravens are down here. But the Independence Day, known as the 4th of July, is a federal holiday in the United States, commemorating adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, declaring independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain. It's commonly associated with fireworks, flash days, no longer fireworks, parades, parades no longer, barbecues, carnivals, fairs, picnics, concerts, baseball games, phantom reunions, and political speeches and ceremonies. That, that's actually the only thing that's still there. So. And shopping. And sh oh, shopping now. Yeah, Fourth no longer... of July is a major holiday with Independence most... Day being on a Friday. Most of the people, let's just say, are ready for an extended weekend, basically halfway Thursday, mid-Thursday, sometimes yeah. all of Thursday. Oh, we had started Sunday. Wednesday. Yeah, they Remember did. that all the movies started Wednesday? Yeah, we have to go check and see some movies. Yes. And the second day of July, seven, oh, well actually part of it is, um, where did the 4th of July come from? Well, during the American Revolution, the legal separation of the 13 colonies from Great Britain occurred on July 2nd, 1776. But the Second Continental Congress voted to approve a resolution of independence that had been proposed in June. Okay. After voting for independence, Congress turned its attention to the Declaration of Independence, a statement explaining this decision, which had been prepared by Committee of Five with Thomas Jefferson as its principal leader or author. Congress debated and revised the wording of the Declaration, finally approving it on July 4th, which is why they call it July 4th Independence Day. And as we're finding out this morning, that uh, the things that were in the Declaration of Independence are now being revisited because they said none of the things that were in the Declaration of Independence were met as, pe as the Republicans are interpreting them. Well, isn't that always subject to interpretation depending on um, I know. Who's, who's ruling? Well, they say the, well, the Bible is, I mean, the, uh, the Constitution is a living document and uh, open to interpretation of, during a time because it was written by a bunch of men in white wigs. And it has no relevance to today, so they interpret it. But now, they're screwing with the Declaration of Independence, and that is not going over happy with a lot of people in this country. So It's the foundation of our country. Yep. Yep. And the second day of July, 1776, will be the most memorable epoch in the history of America. I, um, this was when John Adams wrote to his wife, Abigail. Boy, was he wrong. <laughs> well, I am apt to believe that it will certainly be celebrated by succeeding generations as a great anniversary festival. This was the second day of July, um, not the 4th of July. It ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, gu guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to another from this time forward forevermore. And this was about um, July 2nd, so his prediction was off by a couple of days because they chose to do it on July 4th, which is when they signed the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, but... Um Basically, uh, yeah, historians have disputed whether Congress actually signed a Declaration of Independence on July 4th. Even though Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Benjamin Franklin all later wrote that they had signed it on that day. Most historians have alluded that the Declaration was signed nearly a month earlier, uh, you know, nearly a month after, which is August the 2nd, not the 4th of July. But basically, you're never going to get two historians to believe about anything. I mean, we, we, did, we have revisionism done every year on everything we do. So, in remarkable coincidence, both John Adams and Jefferson, the only signers of the Declaration of Independence to serve presidents, died on the same day, July 4th. Oh, I did like how it's like all three of these people wrote that were signers of the Declaration that happened on July 4th, yet they don't believe them. I know. The, you know, two presidents and Benjamin Franklin, they called them liars, so. Well, I guess part of it's from when it started versus when it ended, but my, I thought they were all in the same room. They were all in the same room. I mean, they were so, all, the way it when worked, they do, ran out of ink and it took a no, month they to said that, it. was it, when uh, when John Hancock put his thing, a big signature on it. It said, you're John Hancock. He, John Hancock. He said, we either die separately or we all die together. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was done at the same time. There was no dribbling it out because it would never have been done. That's right. The only way it was done was because... Um, they were all in the same room. They were all in the same room. So it was the only time they were actually in the same room was on the vote. So 
Um, let's Actually, see. this one was interesting. In a remarkable coincidence, both John Adams and Thomas Je Jefferson, the only signers of the Declaration of Independence later to serve as presidents of the U.S., um, died on the same day, July 4th, 1826, which was the 50th anniversary of the Declaration. Yeah. That's, that's pretty interesting. Now, then we come to the next one. Another founding father who became President James Monroe died on July 4th, 1831, becoming the third President Monroe who died on his day. Calvin Cooley, the 30th president, was born July 4th. So far, he's the only president to have been born on Independence Day. And Calvin Cooley is now being held as a great example of an American president. He did nothing. And doing nothing was exactly what the people of this nation wanted done. So they said, other than Ronald Reagan, he's the only president that ever did exactly what the people wanted. Oh, so, really? Yeah. <laughs> he was the do-nothing president. Well, sometimes that's what they wanted, right? They yeah. just wanted somebody there to represent them. So, in observance, okay, an 1825 invitation to an Independence Day celebration in 1777. Um, 13 gunshots were fired in salute once at morning and once again at evening fell on July 4th in Bristol, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, celebrating the first anniversary in a manner mo um, modern Americans will find quite familiar, an official dinner for the Continental Congress. Toasts, 13 gun salutes, speeches, prayers, music, parades, um, troop reviews, and fireworks. Ships were decked with red, white, and blue. Yeah, that's traditional, but that's all going to be going soon, too. In 1778, George Wa General George Washington marked the fourth with a double ration of rum for his soldiers and artillery salute. Um, across the Atlantic Ocean, ambassadors John Adams and Benjamin Franklin held a dinner for their fellow Americans. 1779, it fell on a Sunday, this was well, celebrated on a Monday, which we have a tendency to do a lot in this country for holiday reasons. And, and I, well, so they it, want that extra day of holiday, that's why. Basically, uh, in 1781, Massachusetts County uh, General Court became the first state to recognize July 4th as a state celebration. In 1783, uh, Moravians in Salem, North Carolina held a celebration of fourth with a challenging music program assembled by Jonathan Frederick Peter called the Psalms of Joy. The first recorded use of the name Independence Day occurred in 1791. This is really an old thing, folks. In, in 1820, the first Fourth of July celebration was held at Eastport, Maine, which remains the largest, which remains the largest in the state. In 1780, U.S. Uh, Congress made Independence Day an unpaid holiday for federal workers. In 1983, Congress changed it to be a federally paid holiday. So, so what do you see for customs for the Fourth of July? Well, in addition to fireworks, um, Miami, Florida lights one of its tallest buildings with a patriotic red, white, and blue color scheme on Independence Day. Some of the biggest uh, fireworks that we see is in New York City. Usually, oh, it's sponsored by Macy's and it's the largest in the country. It's been done for 60, Golly. 70 years. Since ever, I remember. Yeah. New York City, um, Boston Harbor, and what is it, the Boston Pop? And Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, so Chicago basically you know, launched it out there in the, in the, you know, in the um, Lake Michigan. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, uh, so there's a lot of patriotic displays, which is one of the reasons why when we were talking about the travel suite is while the industry may be on vacation, it's sometimes your only chance to get that type of footage without yeah. staging it yourself one time a year. Oh, it comes with cost prohibitive and also there's just Some getting permission to fire fireworks off at any well, other time of the year. that's true. Now what you have to do is you have to substitute Chinese New Year where fireworks is allowed then you can actually shoot, you see fireworks being lit, so, because they do have fire celebrations in the sky on Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes New Year's Day, mm -hmm. but not, the, not as much. It's usually the 4th of July. Yeah, but families often celebrate Independence Day by hosting or attending a picnic over barbecue and take advantage of the day off, which we don't. Actually, you will, but I won't, because I'm, I'm like, Long weekends to gather with relatives, decorations, streamers, balloons, clothing, are generally colored red, white, and blue, which is basically not highly thought of. If you're seen in a, in a red, white, and blue outfit, they call you uh, an extremist in our country now. If you're I guess I'm an extremist because this would all be wearing for the holidays. Oh, see, my hat makes you really extreme. What? And because I have these glasses on? You know. Um, the night before the 4th was once the focus celebration marked by um, uh, racist gatherings, often incorporating bonfires. They put out the bonfire. They were all ushered to see basically the same thing. But Independence Day fireworks are often accompanied by patriotic songs, which is also on the way out now. They, they're wanting to con They're actually wanting a national anthem to stop being performed because they consider it to be a, a racist song. What? Yeah. 
you know, because it doesn't include black Americans in it. It doesn't include white Americans in it either. So, it also didn't bother with the fact that a lot of the people that there at Fort Sumter were uh, black naval uh, black naval men that were loading those tanks. Or here's a historical fact: the man that put the flag up for the last time before they, you know, uh, for, uh, for Francis Scott C. to ski was actually a black American. That was his job because he was a, uh, you know, the, the, the flag. It was just his job. So in the middle of a, in the middle of a tremendous gunfire, he goes out and puts a flag up that's, that's as big as a house. So, but. Um, so Independence Day fireworks are often accompanied by patriotic songs such as the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, "God Bless America, America the Beautiful, My Country Tis of Thee, This Land Is Your Land, Stars and Stripes Forever," and re regionally Yankee Doodle. Why is Yankee Doodle regional? Uh, and, is that more East Coast? Because uh, Yankee Doodle is at, uh, from the Revolutionary War, and that's East Coast. But I hate oh. to tell them this. Uh, you know, Yankee Doodle happens to be something. Uh, anybody seen Yankee Doodle Dandy with um, Jimmy Cagner? You've got to see it tomorrow a lot. That is called worldwide, mm -hmm. not regional, folks. Um, so they were thinking it's regional in the northeastern U.S. and Dixie in the southern states. Which is not performed at all. No one performed Dixie anymore. They call it racist. Really? Why? Uh, because way down south in the land of cotton, where it all cares, will be forgotten. Look away, look away, look away. Dixie land, they consider it racist. So it's, it's, oh, just... if you perform it, they give you all kinds of tips. Oh, gosh. Okay. See, political correctness, what is it coming to? So fireworks shows are held in many states, and many fireworks are sold for personal use. Um, you have to check it, your local ordinances. There are some places where you can do fireworks, and there are many places where you cannot do fireworks. So it's really important to know where you are. We, we weren't allowed to do fireworks when I was growing up, but my father was a police officer, so, and we had we had a truck farm in, in Culver City. So, you know, back behind where they burnt the Atlanta folks, that's where we lived. That's where our farm was. You, and, you, yeah. and we basically would... Uh, We'd soak the we'd soak the grounds for like a week beforehand. So you can do fireworks. Oh God, yeah. Well, usually the indication that you can do fireworks is that there's a firework stand in the area. Now, if you go out of the area, but a firework stand may only be legal in the area they're buying the fireworks. That's what in. I mean. It's, so it's legal in that area. I mean, it could be legal on that simple piece of concrete, and they don't. So I mean, you could have uh, uh, sparklers are now illegal in a lot of areas. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's actually in California was part of it. You know, also depending upon the what type of sparkler. The sparkler that basically does, you know, the, the does the, uh, the the spitting stuff out. That's called a no-no nowadays. Well, also you have to pay attention to where you light it. In fact, if there's a lot of dry brush around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. Here we've been watering for two weeks. Yeah. Um, a, uh, let's see. A salute of one gun for each state in the U.S. Let's see. It's called a salute to the nation. Is fired on Independence Day at noon by any capable military base. That's right. Yeah. And here's one in New York. In 2009, New York City had the largest fireworks display in the country with over 22 tons exploded. Uh, other displays were Chicago, Lake Michigan, San Diego, Mission Bay, Boston, Charles River, St. Louis, Mississippi, and the National Ball, National Ball of Work they see, which I'll be watching tomorrow night. During the annual Winston um, Detroit International Freedom Festival, Detroit Mission holds one of the largest fireworks displays over the Detroit River to celebrate Independence Day in conjunction with Windsor, Ontario, celebration of Canada Day, which is the same day, folks. Okay, uh, anybody here? Oh, Canada. You know, we ha da 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 da. There we go. Uh, the, then you can go to the, uh, the, the star, you know, the Star Spangled Banner, which basically, da 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 da, uh, it's an acreon in heaven. They're both from the same drinking song. That's why we celebrate like the same time. We have the same people drinking. So, <laughs> I know. Um, for, on the 4th of July, participation may levels according to which day of the week the 4th falls on. If the holiday falls in the middle of the week, some fire displays take place during the weekend for convenience, again, varying by region. This year it's on Friday, so I mean, it's going to be a great big monster. It'll be a lot. Yeah. Uh, the 1st week of July is typically one of the busiest travel periods of the year, as many people utilize the holiday for extended vacation. Not anymore, because even the staycations are dead now because people can't afford the gas. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I know. You know what my gas bill is every month? Yeah. And we can't. It just keeps going crazy. up. Uh, originally entitled, oh, you, and you, uh, originally entitled Yankee Doodle. This is one of several versions of a scene painted by uh, M. Willard that came to be known as the Spirit of 76, often imitated a parody in a similar symbol of American patriotism since 1785. Uh, the Fourth of July Parade in Bristol, Rhode Island, is the oldest continuous Independence Day celebration in the United States. Wow. So since 1868, Seward, Nebraska, has held a celebration in the same town square. In 1979, Seward was designated America's official Fourth of July small town in USA by resolution of Congress. Wow. Um, the Seward has also been proclaimed Nebraska's official Fourth of July city by Governor uh, James Exxon in proclamation. Seward is a town of about 6,000, but supposed to about 40,000 during the Fourth of July celebrations. Since 1912, the Rebuild Society, a Danish American friendship organization, has held a July Fourth weekend festival that serves as a homecoming. Danish Americans in the rebuilt section of Denmark. Oh, I didn't know they celebrated in Denmark. Yeah, they come from the reaction. And oh, we, the we, Danes we, are very patriotic, no, too. They're very patriotic. We, we interviewed some winners of the hot dog. That is probably one of my classics. Yeah, um, they thought that she was saying something else about the hot dog than what she was really saying. You know, can you take it all down? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so since 1916, Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest in Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York City, supposedly started as a way to settle a dispute among four immigrants as to who was the most patriotic. Now, when we interviewed, they were doing a, a hot dog eating contest, and we happened to interview them on the, um, the red carpet. Yeah. And I asked them if they had any tips on how to down a hot dog quick. Yeah. But they it missed. We found out that one of the people one of the that's, guys, that's Japanese speaks English real well. He started laughing and that started it all. So. <laughs> those would be funny. Those are some of the classic interviews. Yeah. Um, since, since 1959, the International Freedom Festival is jointly held. Actually, it's already been done again. Mm -hmm. New, I mean, so I've done that. Major, okay, major and minor league baseball games are a lot of them played on Independence Day. So. The Macy's, Macy's Fireworks display has been on NBC for years. Um, uh, since 1970, the annual 10-kilometer Peachtree Road race is held in Atlanta. The Boston Pops does it every year. I guess since 1973, uh, it, it, it basically moves around. Now it's just a local television event with the Boston Pops. So. It is? Yeah. Oh. One is one that, 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 okay, the, the Macy's one is still a big one. The uh, Chicago is no longer Washington big. does so one. Washington is a big one because Washington, you actually I've get, been there for Chicago before. Yeah, I've seen it there too, fabulous. which is neat. So, and not really thrilled about the, you know, how we're getting it out of traffic. Yeah. And it. On the lawn of uh, Washington and the, and the Capitol lawn, a Capitol Fort precedes the fireworks and attracts over half a million people. And That's it, crazy. It gets lots of, I mean, you do actually get members of Congress. And, uh, we've, we've got Republican presidents, Democratic presidents never show up. Republicans if they're in the area always show they up. They always show up. It's a tradition. Yeah, because it's, uh, they want to sit there and be seen with their children and grandchildren sitting there. And then when the 1812 folks are da 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 bum bum da 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 boom 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 boom. So I can tell people in, 17, in 1976 I participated in probably one of the last things you ever going to hear it, where basically oh, we, uh, we we went off the aircraft carriers and every gun in the United States Navy that night on every plane, every piece of equipment basically lit up the sky with tracers and bombs. Wow. I mean, just firing, boom, 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 boom. What was, you were at 1976 at 200th anniversary. Oh, at 200th anniversary, yeah. Yeah, you, you weren't even around then, so you, would, you don't That's remember things That's a big time like anniversary. That. I know, I got to really just go. That sounds you like know, fun. No, it was fun because we were doing everything you're told not to do. We were doing overs and unders, you know, doing uh, in loops in the air, diving, firing, you know, everything you could think of. We actually, we were, um, we were, we weren't supposed to, but we did a simulated attack on the carrier. And we're diving, firing, they're firing the tracers, which are blanks, and they're firing tracers back. And what you don't realize is they actually can't do damage. <laughs> you ought to be hit. Oh, you hit the tracers can do damage? No. The, 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 uh, the anti-aircraft stuff that they're shooting at you can do damage. <laughs> and that would got awful expensive. And we, you know, then it really looked good on television and for the movie people over here shooting. 
but then I then I I I I I I I I I had one of these on my shoulders at that time, so they didn't cause me problems. But they, the, the person who was higher up, he said, "You do realize that the Missouri was also firing, and and uh, oh, Missouri was firing, and in New Jersey, and the Antietam, and 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 the Big E." And they said every ship in the United States military and every plane that was in the air were celebrating. They were dumb in 1976, just like they are today. Nobody what? reads the memos that says we will fire in continuous, in, in continuous action until we run out of, of things. It was basic continuous shooting. People simply thought we had some fun at. Well, there was like a zillion people out there watching, so and then you know coming like then I, I got in trouble because I went over, I went over the flight deck, right over the top of the flight deck, firing my guns as I went. God awful great shot though. You people, you see the people diving for cover, <laughs> and, and the communication, you know, go 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 go. Oh my gosh, what a celebration! Oh, we. What was two hundred years? Two hundred years it only happens once, and everybody wanted to be a participant on it, and uh, they had all the all the TV crews were out, the motion picture people were out. They were shooting every naval vessel in the whole god awful universe. Wow. Participate everywhere you went. This was being done. The city is basically okay. Almost every port city has um, cannons still, and they were firing a can. They were continuous salutes to the to the uh, to their country. Fired with cannons that hadn't been fired in 50 years. Since World War II, they hadn't been fired. So they likely people lucky people didn't get killed. That's why you'll never see anything like that again. But I guess until next 4th of July, this is old camp. And this is not a spring chip. Oh, and the other thing is, you think that they only celebrate it here in the United States? No, it's the American not, holiday? It's it isn't. It's a, it, it celebrates it as Republic Day because that's when they cease to be a U.S. territory. Uh, so So the uh, Philippines celebrates not America. They it's, it's a Republic Day to commemorate when it ceased to be a U.S. territory. On the, July 4th. Uh, in, in, Basically, in uh, Rwanda, as an official holiday known as Liberation Day, because that's uh, when the United States played a, a role in helping the country reestablish itself. So, it's so both on July 4th? Yeah, all of them. Wow. Until next year. And that's Old Cap, and I'm not a spring chicken, so you can join us for more. Wherever you're watching, subscribe to us. Follow us on uh, the internet on the website at yep. mbnewsvideoweb.com. Yeah, or wantobubbles.net. Uh, yeah. Follow us all over social media at wantobubbles. Yeah, and then if anybody's noticed, I've been sitting on a, on a spring chair. And I know, you've been sitting on the spring chair and holding that at the same time. Yeah. I'm, I'm old, but... Uh,